In today's episode on Web Drive M, I'm going to show you just a small update uh, and I'm going to explain you why I didn't post for a while anything because I was busy with this uh, third unit. I know it's been a while, but I was busy uh, for the third unit to install the lift. We have a different lift as for the other two ones. We have a mechanical one. On the other two units, we have um, all electrical, up, down, lock, and stuff like that. In here is mechanical. A bigger compressor in here, 300 liter compressor. Everything is from Twinbush. And by the way, Twinbush, you can... Um, Sponsor some stuff. Uh, we have in here a um, tire machine, so we still have to install and in, uh, put some bolts in here in the concrete. We have the balancer in here, and we have a really nice one because this one is uh, doing a lot of stuff automatically. So in um, these days we are going to be ready in here, and uh, I'm going to show you the next project car. And it's done. Oh yeah, by the way, this is the new project car. This is another abandoned car. This one was um, a farmer's car. I'm going, to, I'm going to show you everything about this one. We are going to lift the car and we are going to check what's wrong with it. But the lift is installed, it's working. All the machine, the compressor, everything is put. Now we can do tires as well. We can balance, we can uh, swap tires, that's for sure and we have another unit to work on. And now let's uh, lift the Dacia in the air, like we just don't care because this is a crap car, that's for sure. It, I'm pretty sure it's going to need a lot and a lot of parts in order to work uh, normally, but the car is straight, doesn't have any kind of rust. Um, the tires are done. I think I have some tires for this car. See that completely gone on the side. Let's uh, open the bonnet to see how the engine looks like. By the way, I received the car last night and I just parked it in here. And while parking in, in here, I've noticed that the clutch is done, done. Holy smokes, holy smokes, full of oil full of oil in here oh no oh no what I've just bought full of oil every freaking wear but hey the belt it's okay the last um, spark plug was replaced or the cable at least or is missing something we are going to check the whole car. We have a new oil filter. So somebody done an oil change. Thank you for that. Pretty sure we are going to replace the oil. Oh, we have no water whatsoever. Hmm, that's not a good sign. ABS pump is full of dirt. Like I said, this car was only for um, field work. And uh, you can see in here, I think uh, there were hunting hunters and gathers. There were hunting stuff in the wild. Of course, it's uh, full of dirt everywhere. But it's in one piece. Okay, let's uh, lift the car. And let's see what's wrong with it. So they painted the tow hook, so that's another bad sign, why would they paint the tow hook? Oh yeah, that's why, because it's rusted like hell. Yep, but not that bad underneath. We have a spare tire that's done as well. That's new, I didn't saw this, okay. So we have to fix that, we have to fix the rocker panel, we have to fix in here. So they paint it over the dirt. That's something. Does the door close? Yes. So it could remain like this. 
the interior the interior is complete the seat not that bad we have AC we have uh, uh, electrical mirrors we have the seats we have everything let's see how bad we'll start in this morning not bad I have to set the date and the time we have to buy some gas but no lights let's put the handbrake down yes no lights the engine is running okay hmm. exhaust has a leak somewhere a lot of dirt everywhere so we have to really clean this car Whoa, a lot of scratches in here, that's for, from sea belt, that's for sure. Yeah, that's sea belt. Radio. Oh, hello there. It's working. We have a CD. Hmm. The whole car is shaking. I'm not doing that. <laughs> the whole car is freaking shaking. See the error. Oops, something is rattling. Yeah. So yeah, that's the car that I buy. Let's turn this off. And let's leave the car in the air to see. And like I said, the clutch, see that it's in gear. Nothing, 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 nothing. Now it's done. It's like one millimeter of clutch left. Now let's lift the car in the air to see how bad it is. I'm pretty sure it's going to be bad, bad. So, exhaust is cracked in here this one was welded a few times okay yeah this one is done done oh that comes with a cat not that good auto sensor okay here is broken yep maybe I can weld that back oil leaks everywhere Every freaking where. Yep, yep, yep. Holy smokes. Way too much oil. More than I thought. Okay, it looks like it's coming from uh, the timing belt cover or engine cover. More like timing belt side. Everything is straight. So bar links are done. Brake lines are okay. Oh, brake itself are done, done, done. Oh, this one is new. This one is done. This one is new as well. They replaced in pair. Another discovery. This one is completely broken. Yep, this is the engine support mount or the gearbox support. In the back, we have just surface rust. That's normal for 230,000 kilometers, but the exhaust is completely rusted, so we need a new one. I'm not really sure if it's bent or it should be like this, but I think it should be like this because it's the same on this side. So, surface rust. A lot of surface rust. It's, I think this is more than surface rust. Holy smokes. Yeah, but it's a big heavy metal, so it doesn't uh, have any kind of problem because of this paint. Wheel, we need to take it out. The brake lines are like new, I'm not really sure if somebody replaced that. I'm pretty sure somebody replaced that because the cylinder for the brakes is new on this side. 
Yep, on this side a uh, swell. Yeah, a little bit of rust in here, but uh, it's easy to access. That's perfect, really perfect. Here as well, easy to access. And other than that, nothing wrong. So exhaust, a lot of uh, gaskets in here, clutch. This from the steering wheel is broken, so I have to replace that as well. Okay, I'm going to make the complete list. I'm going to order the parts. And in the next episode, we are going to start to throw some parts on this car. It's leaking brake fluid between the engine and the gearbox, so the clutch is done. The cylinder... Oh, check this out. We have a water leak or it's... Oh, it's not cylinder... Uh, not brake fluid, it's coolant. From... Where? From thermostat. Yep. Yep, now it leaked. I saw it live. Okay, so we have a leak in there, but the oil filter is new. But the clutch is done anyway, so I just have to search what kind of gearbox is this because I found two or three types of clutch. I'm going to check that offline, of course. And after that, I have to clean the engine somehow because I want to see from where come this oil. But as far as I can see, from that cover, from the belt, timing belt. And I'm going to close the video in here. I have done all the list that I need with all the parts. I'm going to order all the parts today. And when I have all the parts, we are going to... Uh, try to replace everything in one video. I I've ordered or I will order all the suspension in the front, uh, timing belt, engine cover, gasket, this water flange, um, exhaust completely. I've ordered or I want to order the exhaust completely. I just have to find the clutch because I've noticed there are two gearbox types on these cars. And I didn't found which one I have. And I have two clutches, two models of clutch. I, I'm going to order both. I'm going to replace the one that is going to fit. And the other one I have to send it back. But we have to wait a few days. And after that we are going to replace everything in one long episode. So if you want to see the progress on this car, join me for the next episode. If you like this episode, please give me a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, as usual, thumbs down. Until next time. See you later.